Hi friends and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's Adobe Photoshop tutorial, I will teach you how you can remove some person from your image in Adobe Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, I have opened this image in Adobe Photoshop and there are actually multiple methods of uh, doing something in Adobe Photoshop. The first method is to select the woman on the left and the second method is to select the main subject which is in this case is the famous youtuber blogger sniper wolf or is it sniper wolf anyway let's select the main subject uh, the model on the right and i will choose the select object tool which is new in adobe photoshop but you can also use any of your favorite tool like quick selection tool or even the pen tool you know the pen tool always works the best but uh, to save time i will choose the object selection tool the shortcut key for the object selection tool is w and if you just hover over your subject photoshop will try to find the subject within the image and will select it and all you have to do is now left click once to select your subject subject is selected now it's time to fine tune the selection so if i press the q key to enable the quick mask mode which i use all the time to see how perfect my selection is press the q key once again to exit the quick mask mode and now if i zoom in to the model on the right by holding down control space and dragging with my left mouse button you can see some of this area is not selected i'm not sure if it is part of the background so i will leave it here and we will do a quick round around the subject to see which parts are not selected and which are selected so where you think the part shouldn't be selected you can switch to the quick selection tool by pressing shift w until the quick selection tool is selected you can check that on the left on the toolbar and decrease the brush size or increase it with the brackets hold down the alt key to subtract the areas you don't want to be selected then pan around the image holding down the space bar and dragging with your left mouse button and just paint on those areas without holding down the alt key because you don't want to subtract you want to add into selection and just pan around so this area also needs to be removed from the selection so i will decrease the brush size of the quick selection tool and hold down the alt key and paint on this area as well look for some other imperfect selected areas and that's all and i just missed this one so i will paint on the strip of the purse as well and now i will press ctrl 0 to zoom to fit okay i think i have a pretty okay selection here but this is not about perfect selection because we're gonna use the same background we just need to remove the woman on the left side so now it's time to copy the woman on the right by pressing ctrl c or going to the edit menu click copy now it's time to deselect by pressing deselect so these marching arms would disappear and we will select nothing press ctrl d to deselect and now go to the edit menu paste special and click paste in place this will only paste the copied thing or pixels on the same location now if i temporarily hide the background layer you can see we have this on another layer and from we can also see we have missed something don't worry we can always use the razor tool by pressing the e key and removing this thing from the other girl turn on the background layer okay now it's time to hide the girl on the left side so for that i will temporarily hide the top layer choose the background layer select the quick selection tool and click select subject or you can always use the polygonal lasso to create a selection 
around both of the girls. Now it's time to expand the selection. So you can always press Alt S M E. That's a shortcut I covered in last video and how to speed up your work in Adobe Photoshop. If you haven't checked that video, the link is in the description. And uh, to show you the command, you have to go to the select menu, modify and click expand. Now enter a number here depending on the resolution of your image. Uh, I think 5, 6 or 10, something like that. In our case, 5 is OK. Click OK. The selection is now expanded. And now it's time to fill this with content aware. You can do that by pressing Shift F5 on your keyboard. And under the contents, make sure content aware is selected. Or you can go to the edit menu and choose the fill command. Same thing and click OK. Photoshop will analyze your selected area and fill that with the background. Now it's time to press Ctrl D once again to deselect and bring our top layer back. So that's it. Hope you liked today's video. Make sure you subscribe to Orash.